Can you etch metal with an Ortur 20 watt laser? Well, I tell you what, stick with me. We'll jump into this together and I'll share what I know. Let's go. Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. This episode, I want to talk about etching metal, predominantly aluminum, with the Ortur 20 watt laser. I've seen a lot of videos out there with a lot of different processes, so I figured I would try some of them and share with you guys what I found. So one of the most common ones out there is using a thermal paste, which I have some right here. Uh, it's, this is actually a gold color, and what you do is you paint it on here. Now this particular one was actually, I used an OCR font uh, on here, and I did it at one millimeter a second, two passes with this. Now, one of the things I can share with you is you can actually feel this. Um, it, you know, it, it's embossed into the anodizing the aluminum. Now, one of the things I've tried this with a with a metal wrench, an iron wrench uh, that has chromium plating, and, and no matter what I did, I could not get it to etch that wrench. So really, what I believe we're doing is etching the anodizing in top layer of aluminum here. Now, I decided to also try a Sharpie. So what I did on the other side is I actually uh, just painted in with a Sharpie. Now, one of the things that might be a little bit hard for you to see this, so this is definitely is not etched as well as the uh, you know heat sink compound or the thermal compound. However, I gotta say, it actually aesthetically looks a bit nicer. So what I did is I colored this in with this permanent Sharpie, and then after I etched it. Now with this one, I ran an extra pass. So the first one was one millimeter a second, 100% power, two passes. This was the same, but three passes. Um, subtly, it looks aesthetically a lot nicer than the other side. The other side, uh, with the paste has kind of some fade in fade outs uh, where I don't know it, it you know it actually etched it but it didn't leave the same type of mark and actually kind of burned in the paste a little bit now I tried cleaning this with alcohol and stuff so um, that's about the best I got which I'm really not happy with but on this side um, I actually am very happy with this. This aesthetically looks very nice. Now, it's very light. If I ran it a couple more times, I don't know. Or if I probably ran it at a half a millimeter a second would probably be better. Because I think one of the issues is with the more passes, you know, the first pass probably burns off most of the ink here. And, and so if I went slower, I would have probably got better results, but I really like this. Now, the other piece I wanna to talk to you guys about is the setup. So what I used is a white piece of paper down here. So what I used is a white piece of paper and then had the laser etch out really quick, you know, the shape with a box. And then what I did is I took the box away and then I could lay my, you know, part down over top of the text and I knew where it would come out. So kind of an easy cheat, if you will. Uh, eventually I am going to hook up the light burn camera and everything in this setup so it's a little bit easier and cleaner, but that's a quick shortcut to kind of get through. So uh, yes, you can etch aluminum with this. I think the more anodizing, this is a kind of like a cheap Chinese level, so there's not a lot of anodizing on here, but it actually did a really good job. I'm impressed. I'm giving this a big thumbs up. I'm going to order some of the etching molly and give that a try in the very near future, so stay tuned. But anyways, yes, you can etch aluminum, so give it a big thumbs up, swag shop up there, subscribe over there, and we'll catch you in the next video where we do something else cool. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe.